What's up? So if you like me, living green and reducing your food waste is probably a little hard and complicated, right? But it doesn't have to be. Not when we're using Waste Knot. Waste Knot is an at-home composting service, and it's pretty simple. They give you a clean bucket, you put your food, scraps, paper products, and compostables in, then they come pick it up in like a week or two later, and they give you a whole new clean bucket. So give Waste Knot a try at home. Check out wastenotcompost.com, plus our City Cash Chicago listeners can test the service with a free month by using promo code CityCastCompost, all one word. Today on City Cash Chicago, after some late September heat, fall has definitely arrived, y'all. And a little road trip can help you maximize these autumn vibes. Last year, the team and I each picked a direction and planned our best fall road trips. It's Thursday, September 26th. I'm Jacoby Cochran, and this is what Chicago's talking about. I'm here with lead producer Simone Alisea. Hey. Newsletter editor Sydney Madden. Hi. Marketing coordinator Jermaine Thomas. That's me. Each of us picked a direction, and we're going to give you options, places and things to do along the route, maybe a city to stop in, some of the cool things you could see there. All we needed to know today was get into a car, go a reasonable distance, and give us some cool shit to do along the way. Uh, <laughs> Simone, I want to start with you. Where does fall rank in your seasons, and what does a, a good fall getaway sound or look like to you? See, this is a great place to start because I am um, historically not a fall lover. Um, okay. I don't like being cold as a rule. So, so here is so here is sort of my my vision board for the fall getaway, right here, if if you will, my audio vision board <laughs> is I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking fall fruits, fall produce. I'm thinking apples. I am thinking okay. leaves. There should be colors. Uh, there should be a little bit of um, spookiness. I think there should be there should be some dead stuff. I think somewhere in the in the mix. Um, and we should, uh, here we go. <laughs> Our, we ain't even into the guy. Just in the parameters and the third option, something got to be dead. <laughs> right, dead stuff I, along the way. That's, that's how that's how haunted thing. That's the definition of haunted, guys. That's what it means. Uh, yeah, so my direction is I went north, so I kind of wanted to get a taste of um, what Wisconsin has to offer. I think like when I think sort of like basic, I apologize, when I think fall. <laughs> <laughs> drag Wisconsin. I'm not trying to drag. This is not a drag. This is not a drag at all. But like, uh, so, okay, I have this distinct memory in college uh, where I, I lived in the dorms for one year and my dorm did an annual trip to Apple Holler and like everybody was talking about it. Everyone was so obsessed with Apple Holler. This is in southeastern Wisconsin. Uh, not, you know, it's like an hour away, uh, probably even closer for me to get there. And uh, it, everyone was just like, oh my God, I'm so excited for Apple Holler. And they had the outfits, they had the vest, they had the flannel, like the boots. Um, you know, it, it, it was like a whole to do. And I was so confused by the whole concept of it. I, I, I had no idea. And so I didn't go on the Apple Holler trip. And now I feel like I need to see what it is. I need to see what the fuss is about. I need to see why it's so good. Um, Sydney, you sold me on the apple cider donut. Uh, you mentioned it in the newsletter uh, last week. Um, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think that's where I'm going to start is I'm going to start with uh, Apple Holler, which was voted, uh, it has been voted as like among the top apple picking in the country. Again, I don't totally know what makes one experience better than the other is are the apples better i don't know i gotta try it i gotta see I, I i don't know i need to see it to believe i think i think that's what's going on i'm gonna have some apple picking in mind too and i have no idea what makes iowa apple picking different from wisconsin apple picking. <laughs> <laughs> well maybe we should pick the apples and then compare right maybe that's what that should be the next the next contest is we'll do a bunch of apple picking we'll compare the apples see who's got the best ones I'm very here for that. I've been looking for a reason to like make my friends come apple picking with me. And I think work <laughs> is a great reason. <laughs> there you go. Um, so then I was thinking about like what else we want to do, what else we want to see. If you want sort of to keep a more like urban experience, Milwaukee is right. It's like 
less than two hours away from Chicago. Mm -hmm. It is, um, I just spent some time in Milwaukee actually this summer and it was very cute. Uh, love doing it. Um, and this is where the spooky stuff comes in. They have a couple <laughs> of haunted hotels, uh, that I think are worth checking out shakers cigar bar and penthouse uh has you know it's got that prohibition history you know it used to be a speakeasy and a brothel uh it was owned by the capone brothers during prohibition so you know folks chicagoans who like that kind of capone history that gangster history you can find a little bit of that outside of the city as well um and the you can obviously you can just stop in at the bar and get a little bit of history. Uh, you know, they'll have the some some kind of spooky decorations up. But the other thing that you can do is uh stay at the brothel turned Airbnb above the bar. Um mm. or take a ghost tour. Uh so if you if you really want to get into into the ghost. But I think I I feel like staying in a spot that used to be a brothel is a really unique kind of getaway experience. Uh, is it very fall? I think because it's haunted, that makes it fall. That's why this <laughs> in my opinion. There is another uh, haunted bed and breakfast. Uh, it's a um, it's called Brumder Mansion Bed and Breakfast, also in Milwaukee. It is this 1910 Victorian Gothic mansion. If you've ever seen uh, mm. the the show Ghosts on um, Paramount Plus, um, it's that's the kind of vibe you're looking at it for, for this bed and breakfast. Um, there apparently some Chicago ghost hunters have actually been to this place and have confirmed some supernatural occurrences, unexplained noises, objects moving, uh, uh, haunting nightmares. You know, they hold, you know, murder mystery events. They might hold a magic show. Um, it has also been voted as a top romantic getaway for you spooky date lovers out there. Just want to point that one out. <laughs> Uh, but of course, I don't think fall would be complete without some fall colors. And Wisconsin has some of the best fall colors around. Lake Geneva, um, which I know is popular among mm. also among Chicagoans uh, as a vacation spot. There are some very cute cabin rentals. You know, uh, this is sort of a more like you, this is like if you want cozy by the fire, you're building your little like you've got your little fall mug and you've got, you want to take a little jaunt around the lake and see, see some colors. Um, that is, I think the spot for you. I also want to call out Cedarburg, which is just North of Milwaukee. Um, Cedarburg, in addition to, uh, being part of one of the most scenic drives you can take in Wisconsin when it comes to fall leaves, which by the way, peak in both of these areas in the third week of October, always check your, your fall color reports. You can check when the colors peak. Um, Cedarburg also has uh, some really great Oktoberfest offerings. And so if mm -hmm. that is also part of your fall, uh, you know, beer, Oktoberfest, uh, obviously Wisconsin and beer go hand in hand as well. So I feel like that is just a, a match made in heaven. Um, a little bit of something for everybody, I think, uh, just just north of the Illinois border there. Um, so yeah, that's those are my picks uh, for for this northern fall getaway. Come on, Super you got some thorough somehow. Right? She was, was just like, so oh, many. I got a little something, something. This is going to be relaxed. <laughs> then broke out the Disney Haunted Mansion. <laughs> like, took us to multiple places. I'm going to one Same. city and just going to kind of move well, around. I, to be clear, I don't think you would do all that in one getaway. I think the, like, I, I was you trying to figure out. You just gave some vibes. Out. I was well again. I'm still trying to figure out what fall means to me. Like I really don't know. Like I don't know which of these. Like it's like that meme where it's like tag yourself. You know. Like I don't know which of these I am yet, to be honest. Uh, and I I will have to find out. At the heart of Chicago, there's Navy Pier. It's a place where the Centennial Ferris wheel gives views for days. It's where boat tours take off and where the music is always on. It's where you can spin around on rides, share around with friends, and taste every flavor Chicago has to offer. This is Navy Pier, and this is what it's made for. Plan your visit at NavyPier.org. What's up, y'all? I got another fall theater pick for you, and it's coming out of the award-winning Paramount Theater, which is kicking off their 13th Broadway series season. The Full Monty is playing now through October 6th. This musical follows a group of unemployed steel workers out in Buffalo who decide to create a strip show 
to help pay the bills. Yes, you heard me right. Reviews call the Full Monty a big body unabashed comic revival as these guys bear their souls to one another and yes, their bodies too. If you're planning a party or another big outing, this might be the show for y'all. Groups of 10 or more get special savings. To grab your tickets, call 630-896-6666 or visit ParamountAurora.com. Use promo code CityCast for $5 off per ticket for up to four tickets. Again, that's ParamountAurora.com. Jermaine, from one sort of fall skeptics to someone who loves fall, You're, you've been nodding the entire time we, we yes. give love to autumn. Um, <laughs> one, what does a fall getaway mean to you? What are the things you have to have? And then what direction did you go and, and where we headed? Yeah, so, you know, fall is my favorite season because I can layer my outfits. It's literally for the fashion. Like, that's the best part. I don't have to worry about wearing shorts or a light Respect. t-shirt, I can I can bundle and it can be a light jacket, a heavy jacket, a vest, a hat, maybe a scarf. Like once we get more like November, right? Like I got my jeans, I got my boots, like it's giving fashion. Like that's my favorite thing about fall. So for me, it has to be like the best outfits that I've been like waiting to wear mm-hmm. all summer that have been sitting in the back of my closet because it works. And I just like to experience the last bit of outside where, you know, you can sit in, in the sun, but you're not burning up. Um, mm-hmm. So I'm definitely like getting like that last like bit of fresh air before it's time to like go into hibernation uh, and things like that. So that that is definitely what uh, the fall season is given for me. So what direction are we headed to explore all of those quintessentially fall elements for you? Um, so yeah, we were going east and I decided to skip, uh, everything in the middle and do three hours straight east to Indianapolis. Uh, I hate wilderness outside, but I like to be like outside, like in cities. So wherever I go is, is going to be a city, maybe a beach, but mostly cities. Uh, so we're going to Indianapolis, uh, real like low key weekend. So, you know, we leave after work, that's like five o'clock on a Friday. So we're not getting there until like 830. So there's not much going on. We're checking in. We're going to a boutique hotel that, that I found super cute. It's called Bottle Works. So it's like an old like Coca-Cola factory. Not a place they, to stay. Yes. We're <laughs> overnighting. We're overnighting. We're really tripping. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So we're heading up the Bottle Works Hotel. It's super cute. Super plush. I think uh, comfort is also in my mood board for fall. So I definitely want to mm. be at a place that gives me a nice soft bed, nice robes, good linen. You know what I mean? But Saturday... Saturday is going to get serious. You know what I mean? So this area that Bottle Works is in is right across the street from this really cool food hall called The Garage. And they have like a bunch of different stuff. Like there's restaurants, obviously, but there's also like boba. There's an open bar. You know, it's always four o'clock on Saturday. So we're going to be drinking in the morning. And then (laughs) there's this other, um, there's an arcade bar inside of it. So every single spot has these like really cool, it's like Boxville where they have like different things inside of shipping containers. And then we're going to kind of like venture our way like more towards like the heart of downtown. And since I'm always looking for a photo op, we're definitely going to hit up the downtown canal that they have there. You can just kind of like walk it. It's not like a river walk situation. It's much more low key than that. Uh, but it's really like beautiful scenery. Like you can catch the buildings and like get really cute photos. So we're definitely going to hit up the canal walk. And by this time, like it's it's dinner. So I found this restaurant called Vita, which is like a modern American situation. So they have a tasting menu, which is also my favorite because it just takes the guessing work out of ordering. Because I mean, I can look at a menu for hours. Is there's like too many options? That. Like <laughs> I'm in my indecisive <laughs> era too. Don't worry, Jermaine. I like being told what to do. It's too, the menu's too hard. I, I got you. Good choice. You feel me? Yeah. Just just take all the work out of it. I'll just eat whatever you sit down <laughs> on the table. Um, so Vida V I D A uh, is definitely perfect for that. We're gonna do a good dinner and then it's time to hit the town. Overall, what I want to get into is like be on the search for Indy's best cocktail. You know what I mean? So we're going bar hopping and there's a couple good places you can do that. And one of them is Mass Avenue. There is a bunch of bars on the strip, like any strip you can find here in Chicago. Um, So you can just literally just like hop and go back and forth. Like there is um, a spot called Teeny that I've been to that I enjoy. They do like a really good like music videos. And the last time I went, I literally still have songs that I discovered in the bar, like that random night that I play now which is wonderful so we love a spot that does good music you can just like sit down chat have a good good cocktail 
They also have fun speakeasies in Indianapolis. So there's one called The Vault that uh, I think I, I will, w- will want to visit. It's kind of just like one of those that's like hard to find, like it's kind of, you know, hidden. You got to go search for it, you know, just like a cool spot like that. Um, dimly lit, nice soft couches, a good a good lounge situation. So so this sounds like a really fun night, evening, day out in Indianapolis uh, and but I'm just like curious about what about this is giving fall getaway for you. Like why, why, mm. why take this trip in autumn? Because there is, it's never the wrong time to have a drink. <laughs> That's why. So All we right, go like enough. anywhere, but I think, I think like um, Indianapolis is cool for like an autumn trip because like it's not too far. It's very like low key as I think the drivable distance is the most ideal part. Because for me, mm-hmm. like the fall time is like really busy. Like, you know, we're, we're always working. So we have the nine, nine to five. I'm in school at DePaul. So I have like those classes piling up and like people want to get like their projects in and all that kind of stuff. So if I take a weekend getaway, it has to be really, um, really easy to do. And anything that involves an airport is not easy to do. So that's why India is good for the fall. So we have been north. We've been east. Now we're going to head south with newsletter editor Sydney Madden. Uh, before we get into where you're headed, um, Sydney, each time we've brought it up, you keep shaking your head. Obviously, uh, we, we're we leaving summer, which I imagine, was that your favorite season? It is. My birthday is in the summer. I love summertime shy. I love the heat. Look I, at that I, smile I, on her face right now, y'all. <laughs> Just lit up. It's so terrible outside already. I'm so cold in this hoodie. <laughs> So yeah, I'm I'm not looking forward to fall to be honest, but I do have a fun getaway. So, so how do you make the best of fall, even though you clearly dread it? And that's only gonna get worse because if you hate <laughs> being cold, then then you're in for a, a few months of of suffering. Yeah, I'll say honestly, I haven't been great at embracing fall. I hope <laughs> this year is different. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, so you chose to go south. Where exactly are you going? Okay, so I've been wanting to go here since I was in college. Uh, this is a bit of a drive, five to six hours. It's Shawnee National Forest all the way downstate. It's very big, almost 300,000 acres. There's so much to do. Um, you can camp there. I won't be doing that. I also found a cute little Airbnb, $72 a night. That's before the fees, though. It's a tiny home. It's been on the bucket list. You know, ideally, if I was going, I would go earlier uh, in the fall, like, because I do, I do prefer the warmer weather, and um, they have like lots of different water activities. They have like motorized a uh, boat section, non motorized boats. Uh, they also have rock climbing. So shout out to Simone if she's trying to pull up. <laughs> um, they have like various different landscapes too. Uh, there's the Garden of the Gods, which is very popular. There's like a tower you can climb. Um, it's just it's just giving all the nature, and uh, that that's what I really need from a fall getaway. You need to be outside, okay? I don't know. I'm not um into the the w- wilderness and stuff, but like y'all are y'all might like kind of get me out into somebody's woods sometime soon. I don't know. <laughs> some zip lining and some tiny homes. It's a. I feel like we doing a, right. It's a little bit more activity based than just uh sort of making your way through camping and like fishing. It. I, I just feel like like boating. Uh, zip lines, adventure parks. The, I feel like those like build in more incentive than like, all right, I'm gonna just go camp and and walk <laughs> around. I mean, obviously we're talking about camping and glamping. When you listen to that conversation, you'll hear. <laughs> I, I need a little bit more motivation when I'm outside. Right. You can backpack down there too, but I again, I won't be. But you can. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> all right. So we've done some outdoor activities. You got some food in mind. What What are some other things you're planning? So the five to six hour drive, uh, I wanted to stop halfway in Champaign where I went to college Um, and I wanted to maybe hit up some old professors, take them to lunch, thank them. Um, I don't think I know anyone still there, Um, but, you know, in the off chance they are, maybe go say hi um, and then hit up this very good sandwich place in Champaign called Bread Company. And honestly, I'm fine buying a few days of food from there and then (laughs) fucking it (laughs) downstate. I don't I don't know what else is around there, but yeah, Bread Company slaps. Uh, what I love about that too is a fall theme is like a back to school is kind of a fall theme. Totally. So that's kind of a cute idea actually I to didn't visit even think your that. That was, that visit was nice. your college town, right? That's I love that. Especially uh the quad uh 
at the University of Illinois dur- during the fall. It's it's really pretty there. To be honest, I think as a college student, I was like, fall isn't that bad. But post grad, hmm, back back to being a fall hater. <laughs> North, east, south. And so obviously we are going to finish up west. And before I give my, I want to give a huge shout out to Quinn M who lives over in Logan Square. Uh, He listens to the podcast, reads the newsletter and loved uh, the idea of a fall guy so much. Sent me a bunch of different places that we could go for a fall guy. Uh, And so my fall guy is being (laughs) sponsored today by Quentin and Logan Square because while Quentin lives in Chicago, his hometown is Iowa City, which is just about three hours, pretty much directly west from Chicago in the home of the University of Iowa Hawkeyes. And that's where I'm going to be taking my road trip. If I were to go out there, one of the places uh, I would consider stopping at is the Highlander Hotel. It's been open since the 1960s, uh, but they've done a bunch of renovations. So inside it's got a very uh, artistic vibe. They've got ping pong rooms. Uh, The way the pool is set up is you could get a room nearby the pool so that you could go like right out your door and jump like right into the pool. For me, fall is probably my favorite, very similar to Jermaine. I love getting outside in layers. I love being able to put on a sweater. I love being able to wear a long coat. I love to wear my 17 different color beanies outside. <laughs> um, and again, the same and beanie, multiple colors. No, it's the exact same Kango beanie. I ordered five different colors <laughs> all at the same time. When same. It I'm right there with you. <laughs> um, <laughs> And so Iowa City is a place that is great for fall colors. Um, you, you're able to get some fits off. And for me, I, I want a place that I'm going to drive to and then maybe has a, a little bit of a, of a walkable vibe, uh, things not too far from each other. And so uh, one of the first things I'm going to do in Iowa City um, is go to the pedestrian mall. It's one of, according to them, one of the last pedestrian malls in the country. Uh, it's got tons of restaurants, shops, hotel, uh, libraries, um, a bunch of murals. They really embrace, from what I can see, the local music, the local arts scene. And so they seem to be having rotating sculptures throughout Iowa's parks um, and throughout the downtown district. Uh, so the Iowa City Pedestrian Mall is definitely a place to check out, to walk around. And I- I'm not sure what the Iowa City fashion scene is like, but I know a, a a lot of eyes gonna be gonna be on us because we're gonna be looking <laughs> like a fly. We might stand out in Iowa City. We we might stand out a little bit. One other place I want to give a shout out to in Iowa City is the Webster. It's a place I go for dinner, and they had a drink on there called penicillin, and it has scotch, <laughs> lemon, and ginger honey syrup. And for some reason, that sounds like if you heated it up, that would taste absolutely fantastic. Um, and so yeah, I'm gonna go with some type of hot tea situation. And shout out to their public transit system, free access to the buses. So whether you live in Iowa City or you're visiting, you can ride around on um, any of their public buses without having to pay. You just got to download the app. I was just going to ask the same question I asked Jermaine is what makes this uh, a fall getaway for you? I, the the colors for me, um, like road trip, getting outside of Illinois, obviously you can see colors in a bunch of places, but it's an opportunity to get to another city. Um, and because I'm going to be outside a little bit, like I want to stop by the Lake McBride State Park, um, it's still a good opportunity to be outside Um to, to, to get into colors, they had their, they uh, have some great apple picking, pumpkin patch opportunities um, out in Iowa as well. You know, I imagine they're known just as much for their corn mazes as we are here in Illinois. And so I'm definitely going to be getting some of those seasonal activities in um, so that you can both get out into nature, but you can also kind of stick around with the uh, city vibes, which both Jermaine and I um, have made it clear we enjoy more more than not. <laughs> Can I play a quick uh, autumn rapid fire with you guys? Mm-hmm. For sure. <laughs> I would love that. I'm going to call your name and I want you to tell me your favorite fall flavor, Jermaine. Vanilla? Is that fall? <laughs> we can make that fall, Sydney. Great. Apple pie. Oh, Kobe? Oh, that was good. Caramel apple. Ooh, okay. Your favorite fall color, Jacoby? Dark green. Like olive, maybe. Uh, Jermaine? Orange. Sid? Burnt orange. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> A specific orange in my head. <laughs> that felt like the dollar up in Price is Right move, but I liked it. Right. That's, that's the kind of orange. person I am. <laughs> you guys all, all know right. what I'm talking about. 
your favorite autumn produce, Sydney? I want to say apple again. Versatile. Jermaine? Yeah, it's got to be an apple. Jacoby? Squash. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> Hell no. Not the squash. squash. I didn't even think vegetable. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, but it's um, not. I'm not um, eating a squash. So that's enough. That was okay. I had it made the way I get down with it. Whatever. <laughs> Ooh, sweet potato. No, I'm changing. Ooh. Sweet potato. Is that produce? Oh, that's good. good. Yeah, that's yeah. produce. That's right, produce. Bet, bet. Sweet potato. Uh, your favorite Halloween candy, Jacoby? Oh my God, what? Um, pink Starburst. You know them little two pack of Starburst. If you get a yes. double pink, you just hit the hit the lottery. Sydney, uh, Sour Patch Kids, including the sugar at the bottom of the bag. Oh, come Jermaine. on, that's that, oh, that's that good stuff. <laughs> the the uh, extra large. Lifesaver gummies. Okay. They come okay. in like yeah, single yeah, packs. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. I love those. Your favorite uh, monster, Jermaine. <laughs> favorite, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm drawing a blank. My head was like Frankenstein. So I guess that's just my number one by default. <laughs> uh, Jacoby. Vampires. <laughs> Sit the vampires. Up. I'm going to go with Baby Mike from uh, Monsters University, the sequel <laughs> to Monsters, Inc., because that's the only one that came to mind. And I hope his name is Mike. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I want to give another thank you to our newsletter editor, Sydney Madden. Thanks. Jermaine Thomas, our marketing coordinator. Yes, thank you. And our lead producer, Simone Alisea. Thanks, Jacoby. Some good news. This Saturday from noon to 7 p.m., head down to Big Marsh Park in South Deering for Birds, Bikes, and Beats. As the name suggests, they're going to have a lot going on, y'all. From skateboarding and cycling lessons, you'll be able to do some bird watching. They're going to have live house music and food on site and so much more. Please check the link in our show notes for more information. As always, we appreciate you for listening and reading. We're going to be back bright and early tomorrow. Hopefully you and some friends and family that you've been putting on the podcast. Hopefully all y'all going to be here too. Peace.